Uh, good evening, it's uh, Jeff here at Budroom and Wilma's on the camera and uh, we're going to make some Thai inspired fish head soup. So, uh, so come with us on a journey because we've, we've never been there before and uh, this is a new, a new one for us but we've been inspired by other things we've seen on YouTube and uh, other stuff we've made with the Thai inspired dishes and um, so what I'm going to start off, I'm not going to make any, use any stock in the saucepan here. I'm just going to uh, use water because we're using the head. So we can, I'm just going to turn the heat on. And I've got two cups of water in there. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add oh, about a tablespoon of sugar. I'm just using raw sugar. And I'm going to add to that... Uh, we, got a good amount of um, shallots here. We've probably got, oh, what a good two tablespoons of chopped up shallots. Uh, they're going to go in. Just cut up a whole heap of small ones that I harvested the other day. Now I've got um, two, uh, two kaffir lime leaves, two small kaffir lime leaves. Just going to tear them a little bit. Um, put them in there. Um, now, Oh, you can smell that fragrance now. Yeah. Now I'm going to put in, now this is a sweet chilli sauce I made, the first video I made, a sweet chilli sauce that's turned out quite hot. So I'm putting in two tablespoons of this. This, this time I'm going to put it so you can see it going in. Maybe two, yeah. That's, that's it. So, I've found that uh, with this, uh, Thai soup, uh, the more chilli you add to it, the better the flavour becomes. So the other thing we're going to put in here is some lemongrass. So I've got two, two thin stalks here, I'm just going to uh, crush them and uh, chop them and put them in there. Maybe, maybe leave that one out. And uh, put them in there. And what I'm going to do is Bring this to the boil, and then uh, then I then put the uh, fish head in there. So what I've got here is a, a fish head from a grey sweetlip. It doesn't look much, but that head weighs about 310 grams. And uh, so what I've done in preparation is uh, I've took all the gills are out and the uh, blood from around the backbone area there. I've taken all the scales from around the head, there's uh, quite a few scales around this gill plate here and, and around the head and on some fish there's quite a few scales around that area so we take out all the scales that we can find because uh, we don't want them in the, uh, in the soup so what I'm expecting this to be only about 60 or 70 grams of bones so the only thing you don't eat out of this is the eyeballs and the uh, bones. So the rest of it's food. And it's not necessarily meat, but all the juice out of it, and uh, it's really good food value. So we'll come back when we get to that next stage. Okay, so there's one more ingredient we've got to put in there. We've got a, oh, a good teaspoon of heaped teaspoon of uh, chopped up ginger. So how could I have forgotten that? Uh, let's go on again. I'm just going to bring it to the boil. I'll bring it to the boil and then put the other ingredients in. Okay, so we're on the boil here. So what I'm going to do is uh, put the next ingredients in, which is the head. I'm just going to uh, place it in there. And uh, I've got three, um, or just smallish mushrooms, thinly sliced. So I'm going to put them in there. And I've got, oh, Probably about a cup of chopped up cherry tomatoes. They're just the ones that uh, are leftovers. Our cherry tomatoes are finished for this year. So they're just the uh, stragglers. So we're just going to bring this whole thing uh, just back to the simmer. We're not going to uh, let it boil hard. We're going to let the head completely break up. But we don't want it to boil hard and drag out the, uh, the stuff from inside the bones because uh, that'll give it a real fishy flavour. So we don't want it to get that real fishy flavour. Just want all the juice from the outside of the bones to get in the soup. 
Okay, so we're going to come back when that happens. Okay, well, uh, have a, we're back again now. Check out our, uh, fish, our tines by fish head soup here. Now, it's all broken up and it's come to a nice simmer. I've taken out quite a few of the bones already. Uh, there's the, the head bone there. Um, so you, as you can see, it looks quite appetising. Uh, I'm just going to put, add a couple more things. I've just got a, about a tablespoon of lime juice. Uh, about a tablespoon of uh, fish sauce. I'm going to put that in there. And oh, probably a handful of chopped up spring onions. I'm just going to cook it for another minute and uh, or so, and then uh, dish it up. Okay, so we're ready to dish this up now. This is our uh, Thai-inspired fish head soup. Uh, so the idea of the bones is you just suck the bones dry. You, uh, it's not a meal you just rush into. Uh, you just take your time with with any fish head dish where you. Uh, yeah, you can make a stock out of the fish head and just throw all the bones and the good stuff away. Not all the bones, all the flesh and the skin and all the good stuff away. But with these bigger, with these larger heads, you can make it, you know, use the whole head and let it all break down. And the only thing you, you uh, don't eat is the, the bones and the eyeballs. And the lemongrass. <laughs> the lemongrass, no, that's right. No, but out of the head itself. Yeah. You know, We've got the news on out in the background there, but I don't think there's any copyright on that, is there? I don't think, I don't think we'll infringe any copyright. So, um, I'm going to, I think this will be all gone. I, I'm, I'm going to bag the, the actual skull it, it, uh, and suck the skull dry. I think we're going to use all this tonight. We had it, we both had a taste of it. And I reckon it's fantastic, and I think you do too, don't you? Really? Yes, I did. So we agree on that, so that's good. And, uh, so what about the head? Do you want that or the no, skull? No, you, you can have that. I'll let oh, you have it. Okay. Now, one thing I didn't point out before is uh, once you've made this, I found out with the previous soups is that adding more chilli to it, especially this sweet chilli sauce which has already got uh, ginger in it and uh, garlic and lemon, lime juice and lime zest really enhances the flavour of this soup, really brings out the flavour and, uh, and it seems like the, the hotter you make it, you can still eat it you come into a sweat, but, but you can, you know what I mean? Like if, if I put the amount of sauce this is quite a hot sauce, this one. If I put that amount, the amount of sauce I've been putting in this too, on another dish, it'd be uncomfortable. But I'm able to, it really makes this Thai stuff really taste nice. Anyway, I've got another thing right here, so just on conclusion, there's uh, another thing I forgot to put on here. We've got some uh, coconut cream here. I'm just going to put a bit of that on each one. And I've uh, got a few. Uh, a few more uh, spring onions chopped up. Just going to drizzle them over there. I know uh, coriander is a theme in Thai cooking, but neither of us like coriander, so we, we don't use that. So. But this is a Thai inspired, so we haven't got to use everything Thai. So. But it's really nice. We really enjoy these soups. Thank you, Dave. Alright, thanks very much for watching and uh, I hope I'll catch you again. Uh, all the best. Okay, just on a final wrap up, we've both had our, uh, our fish head, our Thai inspired uh, fish head soup and we've both thoroughly enjoyed it. Now I've weighed the leftover bones on purpose. So we've got 90 grams of leftover bones. And uh, so what we've got there is 220 grams of good food uh, out of that head. Now how many heads get thrown away? So uh, most of the omega-3 oil is around the head and the stomach flaps and the uh, wing, wings. So anyway, I've got to go. The time's running out. So uh, catch you later. Bye.